to the Popish Plot. I'm Jessica. And I'm Mike. And today we are once again going and talking about 33 Days to Morning Glory. And this is part of a collab, so there'll be a link down below with the playlist with everyone else's video on this week too, which is on St. Maximilian Kobe. And the first thing I want to say from reading this is, I blame Saint. You're already laughing. <laughs> You know what I'm going to say. <laughs> no, so I have no idea what you're about to say. You blame what? Saint Bernadette, <laughs> which is an option in this thing. <laughs> so, why do you why and for what do you blame Saint Bernadette? Well, a large part of this week is about the Immaculate Conception. Yeah, you know, Colby says over and over again, the Immaculata, the Immaculata, the Immaculata. Yeah, he says that a lot. A lot. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the writer points out that, you know, if you have issues, you should blame St. Bernadette. And so Jess does. Yes, because I grew up in a church called that. Do you know how hard it is whenever you do some, you know, thing at the diocese to write what church you belong to when that's what you have to write? Notice, there's there's no difficulty here with the doctrine of the Immaculate Conception. The Me spelling. <laughs> merely with the difficulty of spelling it when one is an engaged Catholic. <laughs> Eventually someone says, Jess write I see. I'm like... Yay! <laughs> mm -hmm. The well, IC church does sound like a, a weird, you know, Pentecostal thing where they're constantly faith healing, though, but... <laughs> well, sure, but, like, you know, there's, there's you know, um, IHM over near Lansing, because mm -hmm. nobody wants to say Immaculate Heart of Mary all the time. Yes, and usually the people are like, why are you taking so long? Which, like, St. Luke's or St. Mark's or... You know, St. Joe's. <laughs> yeah. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so, Colby talks a lot about Mary. Yes, yes, he really likes Mary. He founded the Militia Immaculata, the Knights of Mary. Which sounds super cool. Indeed. Who doesn't want to be in the Militia? Although, like, they spend a lot of their time, you know, printing newspapers and stuff. Well, no, that's what's really cool about it. <laughs> yeah, they use, they, you know, in a, in a much bigger way than us. Mm -hmm. yeah, they were using the most modern media they had at their disposal, which was the printing press yes. and the radio. Mm -hmm. And... You know, of course, this uh, the city of Mary that they had must have been a really impressive thing before, you know, the Nazis squashed it. Yes. Yes, and also, I, I like how they pointed out how he built on last week's saint. Mm -hmm. You know, St. Louis, like, think of all the, you know, goodness you can do by being, you know, connected to Mary and, you know, by her help going to Jesus. And St. Maximilian Kobe's like, think about if I got a thousand people. <laughs> Boom. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, He's so thinking bit. So we can think about St. Louis as, you know, putting in place the um, intellectual framework mm -hmm. in, as you pointed out, the extremely difficult to penetrate flowery language. Just because that was the style at the time. It's not so much hard to understand as, you know, simply the fact that even as a Catholic, I'm like, it's, so it's not extreme. at face value. It's, this is so poetic. It's so <laughs> far out there. And... Then Colbe is like, yes, and now let's put this into practice yes. with so many guys. All the guys. All the guys. All the mama's boys. So, what I really liked mm -hmm. about this part is the thing that you know I really like about Mary. She's faithful in all the ways that I'm not. She's constant, and I'm all back and forth. She reflects, whereas I get distracted and wander off. And so I understand to a degree. I mean, obviously, I'm you know, not a member of the Militia Immaculata. Although I believe it's still going, and oh, yeah. you could become a member. Sure, sure. So, you know, I like the idea of Mary as a guide to show me how I too can be an instrument of the Lord. You know, not His will, not my will, but His be done. Mm -hmm. You know, um, I, I too want to be able to say. I am the servant of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to thy word. And, you know, St. Maximilian's a really good model of that. Yes. Because he lived it. Mm -hmm. Also, the discussion of the Sacred Heart. Yes, that did show up in here. Because the beauty of Mary, of course, is that she always points us to her son. And St. Maximilian understood this very well. Mm -hmm. you know, and, of course, Mary being there as the spouse of the Holy Spirit and the mother of the Redeemer, you know, while still being, well, absolutely being a creature, she's still deeply involved in the life of the Trinity. 
know, they've chosen to involve her. Mm -hmm. Yes. Another main thing that I, I took out of this section is that when offered choices by God, you don't have to fake humble and be like, I'll have the little one. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, St. Maximilian Kobe was like, do you want this white crown mm -hmm. of purity? Do you want this red crown to martyrdom? He's like, yes, I'll take both, please. <laughs> it's an order question? Yes. yes. <laughs> and, yeah, and just, you know, they, they, they've talked about, you know, other people have talked about St. Therese and how she said yes, and she wanted everything. Yeah. yeah and, you know, and I find that just difficult to grasp. So, St. Maximilian, it's a much more, it's a much simpler choice, mm -hmm. but it, it, it's a way for me then to understand, you know, St. Therese's, I accept all. I want all. Yeah. Do you do you, do you want purity or do you want martyrdom? Yes, please. And God is generous enough that if you're faithful to Him, He'll give you both. It doesn't sound like a gro glowing you know, thing. Nope, totally is. <laughs> no servant is greater than her master, Jess. If they persecuted the boss, they'll persecute us too. Yes. If we're doing it right. Mm -hmm. I mean, you know. His martyrdom was one where even today the ancestors of the guy he saved the life of go to where his cell was and send, put flowers on it constantly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so, week two, and in, to my reading anyway, 33 Days to Morning Glory picked up considerably. Yes. Yeah, Maybe it's just because we're so much closer in time to St. Maximilian. Yes, yes. Although, I, I, I as an eight-year-old wouldn't be like, oh no, what am I going to do with my whole life? At least, you know, how he speaks and does things, I can be like, this is much easier to, you know, comprehend and relate to. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> yeah, no, when I, was, when I was 18, if someone had asked me what would become of me, I would have been like, I don't know, can I have a cookie? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I was going to go to college. I don't, uh, so maybe Saturday I'll go see some friends. <laughs> can we go to the pool? What, can we ride bikes? Can we play G.I. Joe? Oh, it was great. <laughs> so, next week... A saint that's even closer to us. Yes. Saint Mother Teresa. Because even though I know that it's Saint Teresa of Calcutta. It, it's one of those saints where you say her official name, mm -hmm. and then you say the name everyone knows her by. Mm -hmm. So, I'm sure if, you know, we were like, you know, offering prayers and being like, Saint Mother Teresa, pray for us. They are up in heaven going, there's so many Teresas. Which one do you mean? <laughs> no, no, I'm sorry. That's not the official title. I can't hear you. La, 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 la. I, I, think I can't imagine her even doing that during her <laughs> lifetime. <laughs> this is true. She was amazing. Still is. Anyway, so, She got a parking space in New York City once. <laughs> and apparently was a maniac behind the wheel. Yeah. But we'll discuss that next week. Okay. <laughs> Although I don't think that's in the book. No. Don't think her driving skills I, are anywhere I, in the I book. haven't read that far ahead, but I've heard. <laughs> so, again... Check down, check below for the link to all the other collaborators and continue your journey towards morning glory. Mm -hmm. And until next time, remember to live your faith. Love your faith. Share, share that, that love. love. As to the, uh, the militia of the Immaculata, actually, it's really easy to sign up. Mm -hmm. They have four questions. Mm -hmm. uh, number one, are you Catholic? 